Mr. Truchet, on Lehman, one of the great observations, interview to interview, is that the Europe banking system is behind the United States' system. What does European banking need to do to modernize, to catch up with what the giants of the United States are doing? Of course, uh, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, there is a uh, a big uh, domination of the uh, investment bank in, in New York and banks in the U.S. in particular, uh, which uh, is very paradoxical because, after all, the crisis was born in Wall Street, the epicenter of the crisis, of the big, big crisis, which is as grave, was as grave as the 29, 30s in the 20th century, is really born in the U.S. But uh, what you have to get in mind is that uh, there is a big structural difference between the U.S. and Europe. In the U.S., at the moment of the burst of the crisis, uh, the financing of the U.S. economy was made through banks at, with only 25 percent of the financing and through markets with 75 percent. It, it was uh, exactly the reverse in Europe. 25 for the markets, 75 percent of the financing for the banks. And that, of course, is a first explanation because the recapitalization of banks in Europe was much more costly in terms of uh, percentage of GDP than it was the case in the United States of America. There are many reasons for those differences. One important reason is the existence of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, which we have mentioned previously in, uh, in, on, on your screen. And uh, that explains why a very large part of the financing of the uh, U.S. economy comes out of, I would say, semi-public institution and not through the banks. But that being said, of course, uh, the Europeans have a lot of hard work to do. And as you know, structural reforms of first importance have been decided, including the single supervision authority uh, with the ultimate decision taken by the central bank. So the European were at, uh, I would say, disadvantage in terms of structural difference with the U.S. They yeah. took a number of decisions, and I'm very much on the side of the optimism that was expressed by the previous speaker. Uh, Monsieur Trichet, the concern at the time when Lehman collapsed is that actually you know, market participants, overall regulators, uh, even central bankers to some extent, did not realize the interconnectedness of the banking system. What do we know about the banking system now? Is there a danger that actually we could go back to that 08 financial crisis? Well, what we know is that uh, we have decided to reinforce considerably the resilience of the banks uh, at a global level and through appropriate uh, institutions in Basel in particular with the backing of the G20. So a lot has been done to reinforce resilience, but that does not uh, so that does not suggest that if we had a big new shock, we wouldn't have contagion. And uh, I think that this is one of the emerging property which comes out of what you just said, the generalized interconnectedness, not only between institutions, but between markets uh, and between economies at a global level. So that is, that is uh, suggesting that we must be very prudent, very cautious in all respect. And uh, I must confess, I am not that tranquil myself when I look at the overall global indebtedness, which continues to grow when we know that the crisis came from many, many causes. In particular, of course, one of the main causes was the indebtedness, public right. and private, at a global level. Monsieur Trichet, this is an important point. Indebtedness where? Is it globally? And are you talking about shadow banking? To, to um, I would say, uh, go uh, to, to, to the bottom line. From 2000 up to 2007, 2008, uh, we had a very big augmentation of uh, overall indebtedness, public and private, <coughs> coming... 90% from the advanced economy, 10% for the from the emerging economy. After the crisis, we continue to grow leverage at a global level, public and private, not, not exactly the same in various countries. And the, the big difference is that it, this uh, global leverage augments 50% 
because of the advanced right. economy and 50% because of the uh, emerging economy. So that makes an enormous difference. Still, if there is something like a global economy, if uh, the global indebtedness as a percentage of global GDP is a good indicator of vulnerability, then we are in a very well, vulnerable situation. Mr. Trichet, then I want to go to your engineering background here and talk about leakages, which is Newtonian physics, but let's go leakages within the financial <laughs> system. Jean-Claude Trichet, one of the great themes of our look back of 10 years has been the price and the cost of quantitative easing. What is the impact of these balance sheets that Draghi, Powell, and others have to face? What is the impact of those balance sheets, and particularly, Mr. Trichet, on emerging markets? Well, first of all, it seems to me that the central banks did what they had to do. They were in a crisis which uh, had not the central <clears throat> banks been bold and swift, we would have had a great depression and we would have been in a dramatic situation for all our fellow citizens in all advanced economy. So the banks, the central banks did what they had to do uh, because the situation was absolutely dramatic. And of course, uh, when the situation is much less uh, dramatic, they have to withdraw progressively, which is being done uh, successively because the, the uh, uh, sequence of events were not the same in uh, the US and in Europe, but you, we, you see that uh, they are progressively withdrawing. So that's, there is nothing to say about that. It seems to me that the central bank did their job. And uh, in any case, the counterfactual would have been much more dramatic. That's absolutely obvious. Uh, now it's true that there is not only the central banks. They are not the only game in town. You also have, of course, all the other partners, private sector, the other institutions, the governments and the parliament. And there, I have to say, things were not, are not done as they should, in my opinion. Structural reforms are mm -hmm. lagging. And uh, the, most of the uh, advanced economy and, and also the emerging economy are uh, not doing a good job in terms of uh, fiscal policies, in terms of precisely augmentation of leverage uh, in the public debt and so forth. So we really have to mobilize all partners to be much more aware of the fact that mm -hmm. if we want to avoid the repetition of the drama which took place 10 years ago, we have to step in. All, uh, all partners have to step in.